The 2024 Subaru Crosstrek has five different trim levels. And if you are looking at a Crosstrek for yourself, it can be very overwhelming to try to differentiate between all of these different trims and different options available on each one. So in today's video, I'm gonna share details on each trim level that Subaru offers right now on the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek so that way you can differentiate and find which one is the right fit for you. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subarus. So if you think you might enjoy those videos, click that subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you take the time to click that like button down below. Also, if you guys have any questions about the differences or things that I cover in today's video, leave those comments below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. It's been tough to cover all of these trim levels because we have yet to have all five of these on the lot at the exact same time with the inventory shortages. But luckily today, I have at least four of the primary trim levels. The only one that I don't have here today is the base trim. So the hierarchy and the order that it goes in, you have the base trim, which is the lowest trim of any of our Subaru models. Then just above there is the premium. Next is going to be the sport. Then you have the limited and now the all new Crosstrek Wilderness. So we'll talk through all those details right now. We're gonna start first with the base trim level. Now, as I just mentioned, I don't have a base trim on the lot and the next closest one I have is going to be the premium trim level. Now, these are very close in a lot of ways, but I'll talk through some of the details and share with you guys what comes standard on the base trim 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. The first thing is going to be the two liter boxer four cylinder engine with 152 horsepower. Now this has been standard on the Crosstrek, I believe since it was first created in the 2013 model year. But if you are somebody who wants a little bit more performance and horsepower, I'll get to that. There are some options with some of the upper trim levels. So we'll talk through the details on that in just a little bit. This also comes standard with the symmetrical all-wheel drive system. Actually, all Subarus now, with the exception of the two-door BRZ, come standard with that symmetrical all-wheel drive system. And they have, the Crosstrek has the 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So although this is a smaller body than say our Outbacks, our Foresters, and even the third row SUV Ascent, this actually has the exact same ground clearance at 8.7 inches. Now, the seating position, of course, sits a little bit lower than those other models, but it does have the same ground clearance. So not a lot of people know that because it does look smaller since it's our, our smaller crossover SUV. The base trim also comes standard with Subaru's EyeSight safety system. So there are three cameras up on the inside of the windshield. Those will look for pedestrians or cars out ahead to help you avoid a collision. So what those cameras do when they see an object out ahead, you are moving forward, it will alert you on the dash and then quickly thereafter, if you're still moving forward, start to apply the brakes to hopefully avoid a collision altogether. So it has the emergency automatic braking system as well as Subaru's adaptive cruise control and lane centering. Inside the base trim Crosstrek has the dual monitors, so it does not have the larger display and it does have Apple CarPlay Android Auto capabilities, but it requires you to plug your phone in manually with a USB cable. And lastly, the 17 inch black finish alloy wheels come standard on the Crosstrek. So you'll be happy to know that no matter which Crosstrek trim you go with, they all come with alloy wheels. If you wanna put kayaks or bikes on top of your Crosstrek, it's important to know that the base trim does not come standard with the roof rails. Instead, it's an optional accessory that you can get as an add-on. Now we'll have a look at the Crosstrek in the premium trim level, which has all of the standard equipment that I just mentioned and more. There's also an optional package you can get on the Crosstrek premium if those features suit you. So we'll go over the details now. It comes standard with the roof rails, so actually all of the other cross treks in the entire trim line other than the base come standard with those roof rails. It has the same 17 inch alloy wheels that we see on the base trim, but instead of painted all black, they're black with a machine finish that look like this. It also has the same two liter boxer four cylinder engine with 152 horsepower that we see on the base trim. The base trim is the only Crosstrek that has the regular key switch to start and stop the car that actually requires you to stick the key in the ignition. And instead, all the other trim levels, starting with the premium, 
comes standard with this keyless entry key fob. I've talked about this in detail and why this is a huge benefit and some of the tips and tricks involved in this. You can click on the YouTube card above to the right if you wanna see more details on that. But basically what this allows you to do is to walk up to the car. It will automatically unlock for you whenever you reach for the door handle as long as the key is with you. And then you can lock it just by putting your fingers on the little groove right there and that will lock the door. Now to start the car, you don't actually have to get the key out and put it in the ignition. You just have your key in your pocket and you can push the push button start right here. Another benefit of the keyless entry key fob with push button start is that you have the ability to utilize Subaru's remote access from your phone. So you can remotely start your car all from your phone. You can lock and unlock and do a ton of other cool things right from your phone. Sadly, the base trim doesn't have the remote access capabilities from your phone because it doesn't have the push button start. The premium trim and all other trim levels add this 11.6 inch touchscreen display with more digital controls and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly so you no longer have to plug your phone in to the inputs down there. The Crosstrek Premium also has an optional package which includes the power moonroof, blind spot indicators on the inside of the mirror caps, as well as rear cross traffic alert. So when you're backing out of a parking space, it will give you an alert when somebody is behind you, whether it's a pedestrian or a car. It also includes the power 10-way adjustable seats with two-way lumbar support and the all-weather package, which not to be confused with all-weather floor liners, those are an optional accessory. The all-weather package includes heated seats with these rocker switches the heated mirrors, and the heated windshield for your wiper blades. So if you're like most people who at a minimum want heated seats now, and maybe you also want some of those other amenities like the power moonroof and the blind spot indication for additional safety equipment, you'll have to go with the premium trim at a minimum with that optional package. The Crosstrek Premium is also the only one that comes with this new offshore blue metallic color. Next on the list is the Crosstrek Sport. Now this trim level is the first trim in the Crosstrek line that adds the 2.5 liter boxer four cylinder engine. It increases the horsepower by 30. So it now has 182 horsepower. So if you are somebody who's looking for a little bit more performance, a little bit more speed, you can get that in the Crosstrek Sport and actually all of the other trim levels we're gonna talk about today because the 2.5 liter comes standard on the Sport, the Limited, and the all new Wilderness. The Sport comes standard with its own unique styling. You'll see these yellow accent pieces throughout on the grill, on the side skirts, and even on the Sport badge itself. On the inside of the Sport, it carries over that same theme and design with the yellow stitching throughout in the cloth interior and on the leather wrapped steering wheel. This is also the first trim level offered in the Crosstrek line that will get the leather wrapped steering wheel. So if you go with the base or a premium, it won't have the leather wrapped steering wheel. Unlike the premium trim level, the Sport adds the heated seats standard. So if you get anything but the base or the premium, your Crosstrek will come standard with these rocker switch heated seat controls. The Sport trim also adds the wireless charging pad down here below. And in situations where maybe you don't wanna use this to charge your phone, you can click the off button and that'll turn it off so you can store other items down below. Just like in the premium trim level, the Sport trim has an optional package. This optional package adds the power moon roof, the power driver's seat with the lumbar support, and lastly, the blind spot indicators on the inside of the mirror caps with the rear cross traffic alert. The Sport comes standard with 18 inch alloy wheels, so a little bit larger wheel, and they're painted this dark gray metallic finish. This new Alpine green color, which is probably my all time favorite Subaru color, is only on the Sport Limited and Wilderness. So the first trim line you can get it on is the Sport. Here's a look at the Crosstrek and the Limited trim. And instead of the 18 inch dark gray painted alloy wheels, this has the 18 inch black with the machine finish wheels. This is also the first trim level in the Crosstrek that has the leather interior. And just like in previous generation Crosstreks, 
This also has the orange stitching throughout. The limited trim is the first Crosstrek trim that has the blind spot indicator standard, so it doesn't require getting an optional package. And not only does it have the rear cross traffic alert when you're backing up, but it also has RAB, which stands for reverse automatic braking. So if you're backing up like this and you don't see an object behind you, it'll automatically detect and apply the brakes if necessary. The Limited is also the only trim level that comes standard with the power adjustable seats. The Limited is the only trim level that has two optional packages. The first one adds the power moonroof and on the inside adds the upgraded premium Harman Kardon audio system. And then the second optional package adds the TomTom -tom navigation within your touchscreen display. Instead of using the TomTom -tom navigation, best practices and what most people will do now is going to be the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So you can connect your phone wirelessly on this trim level. And instead of paying extra for nav, you can have it for free directly on your display utilizing apps like Google Maps, Waze, or even Apple Maps. The last trim level we have on the list is the Wilderness trim level. This is the newest trim that Subaru offered in the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. And you can already tell that it's a lot different from the exterior design. So what does this add? So this adds the 9.3 inches of ground clearance compared to the 8.7 that we see on the standard Crosstrek. And although this one has the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, it does have more towing capabilities and more trail capabilities because of the transmission cooler that you see inside there. So the standard Crosstrek can tow 1500 pounds but this Crosstrek Wilderness can tow 3,500 pounds. It also has its own unique wheel design. These are 17 inch alloy matte black finish wheels. I really like the spoke design. This is my favorite of the Wilderness wheel designs. And it has the all-terrain Yokohama Geolander tires. The Wilderness has these copper anodized finish pieces throughout. On the exterior has this really cool looking wilderness badge and on the inside it has this StarTex water repellent upholstery to easily keep clean when you are taking this off-road and you kick up dirt and mud or maybe your pets are in the back and they get the inside dirty you can easily wipe this down on that water repellent material the crosstrek wilderness is the only crosstrek trim that comes standard with the all weather floor liners. All the other Subaru Crosstrex come standard with carpet mats and instead you have to pay extra to get those. So that is one benefit of the Crosstrek Wilderness, but funny enough, you do have to pay extra for carpet mats on the Wilderness trim. But most people really want those all weather liners anyways. So those carpet mats will probably never get used. The Wilderness also adds its own unique design elements with this mountainous rock looking rear bumper cover and the Subaru stamped into the back of the plastic bumper. This is also the only trim level in this unique geyser blue exterior color. So if you like this blue color, this is the only trim level you can get it on in the Crosstrek. The Wilderness has one optional package like we've seen in the other trim lines for the Crosstrek. This includes the power moonroof, the power driver seat with lumbar support, and lastly, the, the upgraded Harman Kardon audio. I hope that this rundown on all the trim levels has given you guys some helpful insight and information and in helping you determine which Crosstrek is the best fit for you. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to click the like button. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.